Built in a volcanic crater west of Naples, archaeologists now know that the Roman city was not the scene of sudden death like in neighboring Pompeii. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most haunting underwater statues. Neptune Memorial Reef, creating life after life. The coral reefs are used to be like the shelters, but then uh, it's no more, it's gone. The project, which is the brainchild of young Bahamian artist Willis C. Tynes, is in its first phase. For this list, we'll be looking at the most surreal and otherworldly statues or collections of statues that can be found underwater. Do you have an inkling to visit any of these places? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Baia. The ancient Romans loved to party, and Baia was the place to go. Well known for its scandalous offerings and rampant corruption, Baia was a resort town located on the shore of the Gulf of Naples. Long after the site had been abandoned, the lower half of the town fell into the water owing to seismic volcanic activity. Built in a volcanic crater west of Naples, archaeologists now know that the Roman city was not the scene of sudden death like in neighboring Pompeii. The sunken city of Baia is now an archaeological park, and visitors can pay to snorkel or scuba dive through the impeccably preserved ruins. It's certainly beautiful, but there's just something a little eerie about swimming through antique art and architecture. Number 9. Neptune Memorial Reef The island paradise of Miami's Key Biscayne. Great for boating, swimming, and checking out a cemetery? A columbarium is a building that stores funeral urns. They're somewhat creepy on the best of days, never mind one that is located underwater. Also known as the Atlantis Reef, the Neptune Memorial Reef was intentionally built underwater and is located three miles off the coast of Key Biscayne, Florida. The reef's design was inspired by the underwater city Atlantis and includes lion statues, columns, benches, canopies, and podiums. Situated 40 feet underwater and spanning 16 acres, the reef's features are made from a combination of cremated human remains and cement. And the site is home to some epic features like gates and stone roads. Atlantis is certainly a fitting name, as this is a true city of the dead. Neptune Memorial Reef, creating life after life. Number 8. Underwater Grotto Shine. Located in the Philippines is an island province called Bahal. Bahal is home to the Danahan Bank, which was weakened in recent years due to various forms of illegal fishing, including dynamite and cyanide fishing. The coral reefs are used to be like the shelters, but then uh, it's no more, it's gone. To prevent further destruction, the local government body had two religious statues installed underwater. The hope is that these statues will remind fishermen that God created the ocean and its various forms of life and therefore deter them from illegal fishing. It also helps boost the economy as tourists and experienced divers flock to the location to see the underwater statues. Number 7. Fake Easter Island Heads Fake or not, seeing one of those Easter Island heads underwater is enough to give anyone the chills. Officially known as Moai, the Easter Island figures are some of the most famous carvings in world history. Scientists are continually uncovering more of this history. But it is already clear that this was a remarkably complex society, of which the Moai were only one part. In 1994, Kevin Costner produced a movie called Rapa Nui, which is set on Easter Island. Unfortunately, the movie was an enormous bomb. Fake Moai were made for Rapa Nui and eventually placed underwater off the real Easter Island as a tourist attraction. At least something worthwhile came from the movie. Number 6. Ocean Atlas In 2014, sculptor Jason DeCares Taylor placed a massive sculpture underwater just off the coast of Nassau in the Bahamas. The project, which is the brainchild of young Bahamian artist Willis C. Tynes, is in its first phase and has already attracted thousands of divers, even before its official opening. Situated about 15 feet underwater and spanning the ocean floor to the surface, Ocean Atlas sits in a kneeling position with her head resting on her left knee. This reinterpretation of an ancient myth is made from sustainable materials, weighs 60 tons, and according to UnderwaterSculpture.com, it is, quote, the largest single sculpture ever to be deployed underwater. Aside from the environmental statement, the statue is also meant to attract tourists and provide marine life with an artificial reef for colonization. Number 5. Amphitrite 
a major part of Greek mythology, Amphitrite was the wife of Poseidon and therefore queen of the sea. So an underwater statue makes a lot of sense. And located off the Sunset House Dive Resort in the Grand Cayman Islands is a statue of Amphitrite. Nearly 60 feet below the surface and made from silicone bronze, the statue stands 9 feet tall and has attracted tourists and divers since its creation in the early 2000s. Also located in Grand Cayman is Simon Morris's Guardian of the Reef, a 13-foot tall bronze sculpture that stands in front of Lighthouse Point. Number 4. Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park This stellar collection of underwater art is located off Grenada in the Caribbean Sea. Like the Ocean Atlas, this park was created by diver and sculptor Jason DeCares Taylor. The park consists of over 65 individual concrete structures. These include a man sitting at a typewriter, human heads fixated to a rock face, and a beautiful ring of 26 children standing in a circle and holding hands. Many of these concrete sculptures were actually created using life casts of the local population, and they currently reside in Molinaire Bay at depths of 6 to 25 feet. Number 3. The Alley of Leaders Art historians can have a field day in Crimea's Tarkankut Peninsula. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, a diver by the name of Vladimir Bromensky collected fallen statues of Soviet leaders and cast them into the sea. These included busts of major figures like Lenin and Stalin. The underwater collection was known as the Alley of Leaders, and it now stands as a museum to notable communist figures. The museum now features over 50 statues and various replicas of world-famous structures like London Bridge and the Eiffel Tower. Number 2. Christ of the Abyss There are actually three Christ of the Abyss statues located throughout the world. Perhaps the most famous is located in Italy. Placed in the Mediterranean in 1954, this original bronze Christ of the Abyss stands 8 feet tall and underwent major cleaning and restoration work in both 2003 and 2018. A second statue was erected in Grenada in 1961. A third and final Christ was gifted to the Underwater Society of America and eventually placed off Key Largo. All three statues remain underwater, and the American version is featured in the Netflix drama Bloodline. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cancun Underwater Museum Otherwise known as Musa, the Cancun Underwater Museum is located off the eastern tip of Mexico and contains 500 underwater sculptures, most of which were created by, yes, sculptor Jason DeCares Taylor. Located in Cancun National Marine Park and found at depths ranging from 10 to 20 feet, the museum contains more than 400 human sculptures interacting with the ocean in various ways. Well, those and a Volkswagen. Like most of Taylor's other works, the museum is meant as both an environmental statement and a tourist attraction. And what a tourist attraction it is. Taylor's statues may just be the beginning. Marine Park officials say they have a permit for up to 10,000 sculptures, with the aim of drawing enough tourists to be able to close the reef for a time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.